Hello, this is Watson. I'm Anli, and today we have a very special video. Behind me is Watson 6010 Kang Kang Weyer, the best fabric handling machine for large and powerful textile production. Let's have a look. It's difficult to overlook what exactly has changed with this modification. The size of the working area remains the same as on the basic module, 1600 by 1000 mm. But this productive monster weighs 770 kg thanks to the construction on top. But before we talk about it and its accessories, let's understand how it works, how does the machine different from others apart from its appearance. So let's just say you have a difficult job to do. Your customer wants a product that's different from all the others. A one-off. You use molds to make a model. Now you have to transfer it to the material. All this and more seems to be handmade, but halfway through the machine is in action. Simply place your pattern on the table and the Watson 1610 will make a photo and cut out what you have designed on the fabric. Precise and accurate, no mistakes. You can draw anything and the machine will repeat it many times and do any length if necessary. That's where the conveyor table comes in, but more on that later. How does it work in the first place? How does the machine know where the edge is? The machine works in black and white, so it looks for contrast. It highlights and outlines the brightest elements. Of course, it will offer you variations of the images it has seen, and you can choose or edit them. But it is quicker and more pleasant if it understands everything right away. That's why it's important to make your pattern stand out on the fabric and with a thick line. Then you will have a perfect layout based on the photo. But if anything, the loom has many different camera sensitivity settings, so you can play around with them. The 1610 can cut all the same material as any other CO2 machine. Plywood, wood, plastics, rubber, glass, but of course, this machine is mainly used for cutting fabric, fur, tulle, leather, and the like. Chlorinated plastics are an exception as they release dangerous chemicals when they burn. One more thing, it's best not to uh, cut very thick material as the machine can burn through the chain and working table. This is all possible thanks to the camera mounted here. Let's move on to the design. Here we have a special camera, a Canon 700 scanning camera. It can scan the outlines of the images and transfer them to the computer. This makes work much easier, especially in textile production. It's mounted on a special bracket and connected directly to the machine and the computer. The power comes from the machine and the information goes directly to the computer. No barriers, adapters or the like. The power button is on the case. If you would like an additional video showing the details of mounting the camera on the machine, let me know in the comments. It's also hard to miss the small lights that illuminate the working area. So much light ought to have the camera see controls perfectly. There are lights built into each side panel and at the top. This machine looks like an intergalactic ship for a reason. Such a design is also responsible for the vibration resistance. Yes, it could have been simpler on the outside, but that would have meant the camera shifting during operation. The height is also calculated. You see, cameras have optical distortion at the corners. That's why we choose a height that would allow Canon's key eye 
to capture not only the table, but also the area around it. Any lower and you get distortion, any higher and you kiss normal lighting goodbye. Next important part, the conveyor table. As the saying goes, to infinity and beyond, there are no limits to the length of your metro. Just let them roll around work area. Generally speaking, the conveyor table is a steel wire mesh. It's driven by rollers at the back of the machine, stretched by two under the table and kept at the right height by two more rubberized rollers. As you can see, there is also an additional roller to press the metro. The fabric is passed between this and the table, so the conveyor can't catch it in any way, make a crease or pull too much. Control and precision. The roller also prevents the fabric itself from slipping, like tuller, for example. Let's talk about the additional upgrades that can be done here. Someone may have thought about a second laser head. The door's feature works on half the field which is worth remembering. This means that it casts two completely identical patterns on repeating patterns. Doors is like taking a picture, but it can only cut on perfectly flat material. If you are making two heads, make them independent so that each has its own portal. Most of the contents of the machine reminds the same as its basic content part but there are a few things that have changed. First, improved palace. They are not aluminum, but brace. They are harder and more resistant to wear. Second, beams and rails. In fact, there are no guide rails and the bearings run directly on a shaped beam. Third, the control of this machine is special adapted to the camera and the conveyor. RDC 6445 GDF MRD. The drivers and power supplies are standing here, except that, as with all conveyors, there is a separate driver for table control. If you are interested in the understanding the basic structure of a laser machine, we have a detailed video what a machine consists of on our channel. As with all conveyors, the extractor is located at the side. This means that a round technical hole is made in the front, through which the connection to the corrugated pipe is made. In conventional machines, the extractor is at the back, but here, the fabric on window is at the back. Rec W4 tube, 120 watt, a higher power tube can fit in the compartment. But for fabric, 120 is often huge margin. The chiller is standard. It is chosen according to the tube capacity, as with all CO2 machines. The maximum power can be any. The main thing is not to forget to change the high voltage unit. In the front, under the amperometer and potentiometer is a technical opening. This is where the uh, USB cable comes out. The machine itself is connected via the power cable. Two buttons above the emergency stop button are responsible for switching on the camera and the lights. The machine is modular, therefore some parts can be replaced camera, lens, laser tube, or window. You can ask our managers how and what can be replaced. They will advise you. This cam conveyor will be a great help to your textile production. It is ideal for cutting complex original layouts and chevrons. It will make your work easier and more efficient. How do you like the 1610 cam conveyor? Like and subscribe so you don't miss the next videos and the reviews of new and special models. And let me know in the comments what other machines you would like to see. This is Watson and my name is Anli. See you in the next time.